was more mashed potato. Yeah. yeah. That was a little bit wet mashed potatoes. <laughs> Ya se ha venido aquí a la oficina a mirar a otro doctor para uh -huh. que te receten algo para tu acné. Uh -huh. Porque nota que tienes um, la cara como. Es como un spironolactone, pero like to see one of the doctors here that can help prescribe those medications. So she really can help her minimize the oil and the breakouts. Ok, uh, como un poco grasosa. Uh -huh. So hay una pastilla que te pueden recetar. Uh -huh que te puede ayudar a controlar como esa que no sea tan um, grasosa la cara. Okay. Looks good though. Even though I'm kind of red and poked up right now, it'll look good. Oh. It'll look much bump, less bumpy here. Actually, to see that most of them are coming out when I'm squeezing them. Mm -hmm. So that's good, that means you're doing something. And these small ones I didn't know. If you remember to, you can write it as well. But I think she should be. Oh, someone got something. Sorry about that. some other little smaller ones that hopefully we'll get these and they don't come back. Sound, but um, in 
and it feels like a little bit of a pinch, okay? Like the needle. Vas a escuchar un ruido, mm -hmm. uh, y a lo mejor vas a sentir un, un piquete, pero... Okay, let's see what that's in here. So what this does is it opens up the surface, like it's like kind of um, makes a little opening so that it squeezes out later. Sorry, yes, sorry, sorry, a little pinch. I know, so the smaller ones, I can try to get them. And some of the big ones, let's see which one works better. Pinch, here, pinch. So lo que está haciendo con es algo diferente. Es una aguja muy... So we have a little Farber Rocco show here, which is from Sun. I'm just making a little nick in your skin. Sorry if it, it's a little pinch. Just some of these, just try to see if you can't expose them a little bit. And a little pressure on some of them. You okay? Yep. Sometimes because they haven't really been softened up with a little retinate or a little or, ren or um, retinol, they're a little harder to squeeze out. But we'll get the hang of it here. It's kind of like my nose, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, well, your nose has a little bit of thickening on it. It's yeah. not as easy to, I mean, I bet you if you squeeze it, right, a lot of oil kind of comes out, which is normal because you well, not really, but oh, it, oh, okay. it gets redder than hell, though. I'm sorry? I say it gets, gets redder now. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, you have a little bit of, a little bit of rhinophyma, which is a little bit of thickening of the skin there. But that is something more of a, a surgical kind of procedure well, it, to yeah. do that, yeah, where we have to numb that area and really kind of, it's almost like we use a little loop device that is almost like a hot butter, hot, yeah, hot knife through butter, you know? I've seen you do that on yeah, TV. Yeah, so. It's not, I mean, we make sure you're nice and numb so you're comfortable, but, you know, there's a little bit more downtime and things like that. But how many hole-in-ones did you say you have? Two so far. Oh, oh you're going to beat me for sure. And three just misses. Just misses. I had one one time that I, I think I actually called it out like I could... What if I got one? Like I made a big bet with my husband and I actually bounced right over, like a small little skip right over the hole. And let me tell you, I wish I had a camera to show my husband's face. <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. So these are called Far Rocco Show actually. They're solar comedones. They're like blackheads and whiteheads that occur from sun exposure. That's why they occur on the sides of our eyes. I just... Oh, I get a lot of sun there's exposure. Specific, yeah. yeah, there's a specific name for them. What was it? Favre, like Brett Favre. Yeah. Favre Rocker Show. It must be named after two, huh. two uh, papaholics. <laughs> two people that, uh, two uh, dermatologists, I'm going to guess. So we'll get this cleaned up a lot because you're so nice and patient with me. I appreciate that. There's a lot of little smaller ones, but hopefully this will help to clear up most of them. And then, and then if they start coming back again, because I don't think you're going to change your lifestyle too much. You get a pretty good too lifestyle. Too late for that. Yeah. yeah. I'm then, pushing 74. I don't know why I'd want to. You look pretty good. Hey, we, we, we're a good team here, right? So I just put a little nick in the skin and a lot of these are so they might do a tiny little slow little ooze but and I bet you some of this will still continue to come out like when you wash your face and things so it should continue to kind of clear up. That suits me fine. Much better. Okay. Cluster right here. I don't want to pinch them too hard. Get 
the, the clusters are harder, like we kind of have to see what we can get out and then we'll readdress it again later because I just don't know where the openings are. You okay, huh? Oh, I'm fine. Actually, he's like, has a good poker face. I feel like he doesn't even budge. And I know, it must pinch when I'm No, I didn't hurt at all. I just got an idea while we're here. I got it. I should do that. Be the blow up. That'd be so funny, huh? Yes. If we did that, and I was like, "No, don't take me away." <laughs> I should pick that up somewhere. Looks pretty good. It's coming out. Feel that one. I'm sorry. It didn't. No, it didn't hurt. I you can just feel that. We yeah. felt that big, wider one that was there. I'm sure it hurts a little bit, but you're sick. No. Okay. You're so tough. But uh, that one was a, a satisfying, and I think that made a difference there. But you've got some cute little linguinis in here. You can't really see a difference. Oh yeah, look how flat. Yeah. Look how flat it is. over halfway. Take your time, honey. Oh, I, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'll definitely be putting one on me if I need to. I want you to make sure you tell me if something is really pinching. I'm trying to read you, but you're not making any kind of notation that anything's bugging you. No, so. it doesn't hurt at all, I'll be honest with you. Oh, oh, I mean, it has to be a little bit pinchy, but you're being tall about it. But let, let me know if it's really like, I can definitely put numbing in here if we need to. No, maybe, numbing, maybe I'm a sadist or something. <laughs> so you have a sister you said that you're pretty close with? So, no, your, your daughters got married, right? I have but three daughters. Yeah, two of them. The one just got married on the 8th. Just the other day. Between yeah, the all was good. And she rented a place down in Fullerton. Uh -huh. and, then old, and then at the end of the night, she, my sister had a lot to do it with. They had the in and out truck come. Oh, how awesome. Oh, yeah. Everybody was surprised. Everybody loves that. Oh, yeah. Everybody was surprised. Everybody loves that late night too after you've been oh, exactly. and dancing. Oh, it was fun. They had a really good band. Oh, that's great too. Yeah. Band cheap. Bands are pricey these days. Oh, gosh, oh yes. my God. What kind of music do they like? How um, old is your daughter? 34, oh, okay. 35. Maybe she likes the boy bands and stuff like nah, that. Nah, she no? actually she liked. Like my music, yeah. Oh, like, do you like rock, like classic rock kind of things? Yeah, I feel like exactly. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's nice. Oh, and they that's played it, in, uh, like eight, like sixties or seventies, but maybe even exactly like, yeah. in the eighties. Uh, I know. Yeah, I'm not even there. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Another Kenny G. So are they all married off now? Yep. Ah, your responsibilities are done there. 
Never. <laughs> uh, you never stop being the uh, dad. I told this when I get married. No matter what happens, I still take care of you. Aww. She's still my daughter, no matter take what. Take care of you. Yeah, thank you. Just because you're tolerating this well, I'm sorry. I'm going and doing a little bit more, okay? You're okay. Oh, with that, please huh? do, yeah, please do. Time and we are actually this side's going pretty quickly. Yeah, I think you were having too much fun last oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are I know people are gonna love these. Uh -huh. They're good. Yeah. They're very good when you they're like you never know what's gonna come out of one of them. Sometimes they look like a cute little <laughs> ring of fresh pasta. Oh. <laughs> it's always food. I don't know, what else do they look like? Or sometimes they come out like a little, I feel like sometimes they look like Super Mario, like with like one of the, like those little plants that come out. I don't know what they're called. Mm. You know, Super Mario, when you play yeah. Mario Brothers? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun that one. Like mm. little, like, eating plants that come out like that too. Mm. I'm weird like that. Nasty thing. mashed potatoes. Yeah, they yeah, have a little mini mashed potatoes. It's not bad. Actually, it looks pretty good. I see once after I do a good number of them, it sort of gets a little swollen there, so it's hard to see where the right, new ones are. But maybe these two right here. So we wait for the swelling to come down again, and then we check it out again. Did I give you that cream to put on these areas to soften it up? No, but I did go buy some. Oh, you didn't have to buy some. I mean, we have it here too. We I don't samples. know what about. What did you get? Like a, a tretinoin or something? That's. In Mexico, I think. A retinol or something you got? I'm not really even sure what it was. Oh, let's see. We have, do you think we have samples of something, Christy, maybe? Uh, yeah. If we, we do, might, I think we'll look and see. Because yeah. if we do, we yeah, almost have it here. Mm -hmm. Let's do this last little bit here. And then if we do, we'll give you something that you can apply here because it'll help to soften them up. Perfect. So that they're easier to, the, the, hopefully, the smaller ones. Yeah, thanks for pushing against me. Okay. Oh, yeah, this one in the back. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, no, surprise, it's a little bit more. You okay? Oh, fine, can't even feel it. This is so weird, like how that one and the one that was by my eye, uh -huh. you know, they just come out of nowhere. Those, and they just what? look so big and weird. Yeah, some of them are a little raised up. Do you have people that have a hard time on the pain of this? Hey, so they saw you, and I hope you weren't. Oh, sorry. I hope no, you weren't too worry. poked up that much. Uh huh? Oh, okay. You weren't too poked up. You were? Uh huh? No. You all? Okay, good. Because, yeah, that's not Halloween, right? We don't want you to look <laughs> crazy for the wedding. I'm going to push against you. you when this started it didn't happen it didn't start um, like a long time ago no like 10 about 10 years ago okay do 
you feel like something kind of triggered it? Like what? Why would you suddenly start getting this? Like, did you have like more acne prone skin when you were young? Though? No, and you know what? I went over my buddy. It like came out like in a week when it started. What do you do? Were you exposed to something? Did you feel like? Not that I know of anything. And you never really had acne when you were younger, so maybe you weren't accustomed to like trying to squeeze them or something. Oh no! Yeah, I didn't. I even worked at a Taco Bell and I didn't have bad <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why right. standing over all that oil. I, I used to fry the taco and tostada shells. Oh that's how I started. Sweat into it. Oh it no. Hot back there and you know, and that's just the way it was. Um he was just a sweater, I guess. You weren't so much of a sweater. Yeah, you use a drill. A dr oh, really to spin it? Yeah. Yeah, and you know the thing that you turn the sprinklers on and off with? Oh yes, the, the like the key kind of thing. Yeah, well you sure. cut the bottom off and the handle is what oh. you put down in there. They use those drills for a lot of things these days. Yeah. Have you seen that TikTok trick where they use a, a blunt like the um, cake stir, like the mm -hmm. automa the electric um, cake mixer to like shred chicken? What? You just take the chicken in the bowl. Oh, and I did and see that. Chicken. Yeah. Uh. Another tip for you, for me, who would have thought? <clears throat> I would give you a cookie. Well, how about when they stick <laughs> the ear of corn on the on the oh, drill? Yeah, and... I'm gonna have to look it up. Yeah, they just take it and they shred it, and it's all shredded up, so you don't have to hand shred it like that. I've seen the corn in the cob. That scares me. Yeah, yeah the, I would. No, one shooting. guy, one guy lost a tooth. I could have swore on it. Yeah, I would get a tooth. Yeah. You got rid of that big one there. That's good. It looks like uh, those other ones don't look like they're coming back or anything, huh? No. And just... nothing shelled out of them. Like a little sack? Of yes. Or well, a little, a little, I got a little bit out of them afterwards, but... Good. That's good, actually, that you're doing that. You're not scared to do that. Either. No. Because they're open now. Well, sometimes. I can tell, yeah, when they're yeah. open like that. They're prime, and sometimes it's hard to get all of that out of there. Stuff in the veins. So what do we figure these are? Cyst? Yeah, I think they're... They're solar, they're comedones. They are, they're cysts. But so I'm wondering why you would have gotten them all of a sudden. Like sometimes an exposure to, a, I don't know, a chemical can cause it if it's so acutely later in life. But you don't say anything like that. So no. I mean, there wasn't some instance you were, you were, I don't know, somewhere like a Chernobyl kind of thing. <laughs> Chernobyl, but you know what I mean? Like something you were exposed it, to. It's something? weird because I was gardening before. And that was would put you in chemical in contact with chemicals, and you didn't have any problems then. No, well, that's when it started to come out. After that, that's when my oh. buddy said, "Wait, what's this?" Wait, so maybe what kind of gardening were you working at a place where you were no. applying a lot of chemicals to the ground? Or no, what? just my own house, and I don't use chemicals. Oh, just your own house. Yeah, just gardening your own house, though, I don't. Know. I just popped out of nowhere, but that is so weird. It I is. Don't, I don't get it, Christy. You got any mm -hmm. idea? Right? Doesn't make sense. I don't know why. You're That's why I said, if I, you know, as a kid, if I had it, I could see it, you know. Right. But, I mean, you're not really getting new ones now, so hopefully if you get rid of these, they won't come back. Correct. That's the whole goal. So, do you guys do anything for Halloween? What are you going to do for today? Are you going to dress up? Are your kids going to dress up? Yeah, Joe's gonna be a, my seven-year-old's gonna be a blow-up dinosaur. <laughs> oh, oh, one of the ones that you walk around in. I you like. Know, I have some of those costumes. I think I have a maybe like a unicorn or a big horse. Like, would you oh be interested gosh, in it? That's so funny. Do you, would you like that? Do you think he wants a double? Co oh, it's too late. No, it's not. No. Is it too late? Is it no, this it's, Monday? It's it's. Oh, I can bring it and see if you wanna you wanna tips. use it. I also have the one that has. It's like the one where you look like you were snatched. Like an alien's guy? Yes, yeah. those are cute. That's so cute when they act it out, you know? When yes. Like, ah, I, I should do that. that here and put Jeff's face on the bottom. Yeah. He's so good. That'd be funny if one of you guys had that. Jeff's face or something. Or put Come Scott's dress face. Like I put Hitch. Scott's face. Mm -hmm. No, put it on the alien's head. And then you like it. He's like, grab <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, don't take me. My husband, I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. so Your husband worked on my... Well, she's my ex-mother-in-law, but she's still my mother-in-law. Uh, Mary. Okay. Yeah. She had 
uh, something on her nose, like, I don't know, mm. cancerous or something. Okay. She said he was wonderful. Oh, he's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna keep him around, okay, huh? Yeah. But I don't mind making him the butt of a joke. It's <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> oh, it's actually bigger than it looks. Well, that was cute. I'm gonna put a little pressure on you, but not hurting you, right? No. Okay, good. It's like a, these dilated pores of wine are, are really just large black heads that are superficial and more dried up. So kind of have to squeeze them a little bit, try to get all of that out. It's behaving though. And the reason they're so dark is because they're oxidized. They've hit oxygen. And so they're more, oh, they're just a darker color. That has nothing to do, like the ones that are kind of trapped under there and don't get air exposed to them, those are the ones that we call whiteheads. Maybe a little pressure, but not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And they always are bigger than they look. They just hide under there. Actually, you thought yours was pretty hard. It's it's moderately hard. This I, I felt harder ones. Yours is not too. And that actually is nice because it makes it easier for me to remove. Let's see if I can pull this and get it out. Sometimes people ask me too, why can't I just take a tweezer and pull the whole thing out? Or a Kelly forceps or something like that. It's not that easy. These are friable. They don't really want to pull out so easily. You have to kind of, the, the sack is very, as you can see, it tears really easy. I have to nudge it a little bit, kind of coax it out. Am I hurting you? Might no, be a little pinchy no, no. underneath. Okay, if I so if you found a thing sharp, you let me know. Right. That looks like you got a little dilated pore of wine. Or did you even know it was here? No, yeah. You because you can't feel this out here, huh? No, no one's told yeah, you. I did a complete exam the last time I came. That's when he found it. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna push against you. Okay, All right? right? Okay. There you go. The whole thing kind of moves in here to a buried treasure. Well, we'll divide it. <laughs> Maybe there's some clues here. Ooh, ooh, if there is, we're going to divide it. <laughs> you know when you do stuff like this? Yeah, look bigger. how it slides. Look how you it slides like out. Look how it's sliding out. Oh look, look. Oh my gosh. It's sliding out. It looks like it has a little face on it. It almost looks like a little... You guys like this kind of stuff. Oh look. my gosh. Well, here's part of it. Here we go. Oh my gosh! But you still have part of it hanging out, so <laughs> come back here. <laughs> We're not done. We're not done yet. Oh, I love it! I love it! You're so oh good. You're so good.